Welcome to Loading Data into Elements 2.0. The following tutorial will guide users through loading data and will include a brief explanation of the parameters found in the workflow dialog. Elements is available for a free 14-day evaluation on our website. Visit the Elements section of www.proteumsoftware.com to request an evaluation. The workflow dialog can be accessed from the new file button on the opening dialog the new file button on the toolbar, or from the file menu. Elements uses a single page workflow dialog with tabs as opposed to the wizard style dialog found in Scaffold. Parameters must be defined on each tab before data can be loaded. Note the yellow triangles scattered around the workflow dialog. These indicate the user's attention is required. Parameters need to be set. Once the triangles are cleared, processing can begin. For a more detailed explanation of any of the individual parameters found in the workflow, click on the blue question mark button. This will bring up the in-program help guide. This can be queried to quickly get access to information. We will begin in the search tab. This is where a bulk of the parameters are set and the raw files are selected. First set the mode properly depending on whether you have positive, negative, or mixed polarity samples. The mass range parameter allows you to define the mass range you would like searched. You can limit this to speed up processing time if all of your analytes of interest reside in a particular M over Z range. The RT range option is similar to the mass range but works on retention time as opposed to M over Z. You can limit the RT range if interested. Next is the match type. The program defaults to matching using mass only. When a custom library is used with a defined chromatographic system, the mass and retention time option is available. Define the proper parent and fragment tolerances and the RT alignment tolerance. These should be set according to the data you have captured. Finally, in the search tab, there are five checkboxes. If the treat each MS1 spectrum as a single analyte box is checked, Elements will build MS1 spectra by merging features for each ion form at a specific retention time. This helps increase confidence in identifications. If the perform retention time alignment box is checked, Elements will perform retention time alignment on the samples. If the perform cross samples feature re-extraction box is checked, Elements will go back into samples in order to try and find a feature that may have been missed because of peak quality or intensity. If the report unknown metabolites box is checked, Elements will store peaks that do not have a match in the library. These can potentially be identified later. If the only retained analytes with MS2 data is checked, Elements will only save identifications with MS2 matches. Lastly, in the search tab, use the Add button to point elements towards the raw files to be analyzed. The Elements File Compatibility Matrix on our website lists all the types of raw data that Scaffold Elements is compatible with. The Feature Finding tab lets users define a noise threshold as either a percentage of the max signal or as a specific value. The default is 0.1% of the max signal. This is a good place to start if you do not have prior knowledge of a noise threshold to set based on existing data. If it looks like there are numerous identifications missing after data is loaded, lowering the noise threshold may help. This will be at the expense of processing time. The minimum time between scans parameter allows users to downsample their data when a very fast scan rate was used. This will allow for scans that supply no additional information to peak picking to be skipped. This should usually be left on the default setting. If index feature files are stored, then they can be used to browse the raw data landscape and can be reprocessed. Use the Save Index Feature File option to do so. If they are saved, you must use the Browse button to navigate to a directory to save the files to. The Addix tab allows users to define what ion form should be included in the search. Right-clicking on the Addix table and clicking Show Uncommon Addix brings up a longer list with uncommon addicts. The filter box can be used to search for specific addicts. Finally, using the Match to In-Source Fragments option allows elements to try and match to in-source fragments found in Spectra. This can increase the competence in an identification. This tab allows you to select which libraries are used for the search. Elements comes bundled with the NIST and Metlin Spectra libraries, however numerous free libraries such as HMDB are available as well. Use the Add Library button to select the desired libraries. Libraries must be downloaded and added to Elements before they can be searched. Click the Download Libraries button. This will open the library portion of our website. Libraries of interest can be downloaded from here. Once the files are downloaded, unzip them. Then use the Import Library button to add the library to Elements. The Create button can be used to create an empty library. Compounds of interest can then be added to this personal spectral library.
New to Elements 2.0 is the Advanced tab. The Advanced tab contains additional processing parameters that in most instances can simply be left as default. The ID score retention threshold sets the score threshold for an identification to be included in an MS1 spectrum. The in-source fragment intensity threshold sets the minimum intensity for a peak in a library MS2 to be considered an in-source fragment. The RT alignment spectrum minimum reproducibility sets the number of samples as a percentage that a peak must be found in to use for retention time alignment. The RT MS1 spectrum inclusion threshold sets the RT range for including peaks in an MS1 spectrum. The RT MS1 spectrum cross charge threshold sets the RT range when creating MS1 spectra with ions of different polarities. The max aligned RT diff sets the difference in RT allowed when forming RT consensus spectra across RT aligned samples. Max unaligned RT diff sets the max difference in RT allowed when aligning features to perform retention time alignment. Note the chromatographic system dropdown in the bottom right corner of the workflow dialog. Users have the option to add a short description of their chromatographic system here. This information is then stored as part of the identifications and can be included in a personal library. Once this personal library is created with the chromatography information included, samples can be searched using MASS and RT. Adding a chromatographic system is not necessary for all samples, but must be done when samples are to be used to build a library. The Save Workflow button will write a workflow file with all the currently defined parameters. This can be used by clicking the Load Workflow File button. This is helpful when you have many runs that need the same parameters, or as a backup if the search needs to be redone. Once all of the parameters have been defined, the search can be carried out. Note there should be no visible yellow triangles. Click Start to begin. 